Yo, what is up guys? We are back here with a brand new Wi-Fi battle. It's 2023, the first Wi-Fi battle of the year. <laughs> it's your boy Franklin. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've been pouring recently. You guys have been amazing. Our goal is pretty much right there. Getting to 10K is going to be the first resolution of the new year. So hope you guys join the ride. I've been enjoying the experience. If you want to support me for free, please like and subscribe. So, Cinderace is back in this generation. Thank God I missed the bunny. Uh, obviously, times have changed. There's been big power creeps, so I don't really think this Pokemon is going to be broken. And also due to the fact that Libro got nerfed in the same way Protean has. So, let's see how well it fares in today's metagame. So, looking at my opponent's team, though, he... Oh, man, I kind of have a problem with... Uh, Kind of have a big problem. Actually, you know what? I kind of have a big problem with Great Tusk, but I think Rotom is going to be the best lead Pokemon right here. Uh, Rotom is especially defensive for that Chiu. So if we're going to be able to maybe take some hits, I hope we can do that. So that way we can get the victory. Now, as long as none of his Pokemon are Choice Scarf, <laughs> maybe we'll have a good chance of Cinderace picking up some KOs. So let's get right into it. So he leads off with a Neuron. I really don't care about a Neuron, bro. Like, seriously. <laughs> so we got a Rotom. It's specially defensive. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just get the Volt Switch off. I don't think he would want to go into anything else. If he goes into Great Toss, that's kind of a misplay on his part. But he got the Neuron. Green Neuron. I forgot how a shiny one looks like, too. So he's just immediately going to Terrastalize. Now, off the top of my head, I don't really think that's a good play because I can't really think of any moves this Pokemon would even want in order to Terrastalize. But, I mean, he does have Boom Burst. Oh, I just realized that. Is this Specs Boom Burst? I think so, right? I did a lot of damage. But guess what? I don't care because we're just going to Volt Switch out of here. And assuming that is actually, like, uh... Assuming that it's actually, um, you know, <laughs> choice specs, that, that did way too much for it to be doing that much damage, but assuming it's choice specs, I can just click in a really well-placed Moonblast here. You can't really hit me. Yeah, switch out, buddy. Switch out of here. Switch out. You don't need, you don't need none of that stuff. So he goes into Screamtail. I'm curious to see how much this does. Screamtail does have a lot of bulk, so let's see what this does. Okay, it does doesn't do too much. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to go into our Torkoal. Because this Pokemon is kind of annoying, and we're going to get a Rock Stuff immediately. Immediately. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Torkoal is in. The sun comes out to play, and Protosynthesis is active. So its defense went up. Okay. He's gonna go for the light screen. Okay, okay. It's nothing nothing too crazy for me, honestly. I'm gonna get my rocks up right here. He goes for the wish. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. We're gonna get our rocks right here, right now. Alrighty. Perfect. And you know what? I'm curious to see what this Pokemon is gonna do or go into, so I'm just gonna click a lawful plume, even though we did get the light screen up. But Wish and Light Screen is kind of weird on a screen tail, but each their own, right? Oh, so it's double double screens. Okay. Double screens is not too bad, I suppose. I'm gonna fire off this lava plume right here. It does absolutely nothing. And this Pokemon's gonna get its HP back. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into Tinglu here. Screw it. Yeah, we're just gonna get all of our hazards up. <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's just let's just do it. You know what? Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just get all hazards up. I don't really care about the rest of this team. He's gonna go for another wish here, okay? That's fine I guess. I'm going to uh, go for the spikes here. I wonder if he's gonna go into like his great tusk and rapid spin maybe or close combat. Who knows? So he's gonna withdraw his actual screen tail into what to do. Great Tusk? Yeah. He's gonna go into Great Tusk here. And I don't really care too much about this Pokemon. Assuming it has uh, defense got heightened up. Okay, cool. 
We're gonna get our spikes up here. Very nice, very, very nice. And I'm sensing a rapid spin is coming. So what I'm gonna do here is just uh, go into Fluttermane. So we're gonna save this Pokemon for later. We're gonna go into the Fluttermane and click a really good Moonblast, especially with the sun is up. Woo! You know, it's gonna do massive damage. So let's see what he goes into here. He goes for Rapid Spin as I anticipated. Uh, honestly, even though with screens up, Moonblast is going to do a ton of damage. Because I am a plus one as well. So let's see how much this does. Let's see how much this does. I'm going to go for the Moonblast here. Oh my god, it almost KO'd it. <laughs> Goes for the Earthquake. I don't think uh, this might kill me, actually. Unfortunately, it does. Oh, man, that sucks. But it doesn't matter because we do have the Dawn, the King, Cinderace. He's back. Back, back, back attack. So we're gonna go into Cinderace here, and I'm clicking Pyro Ball. Uh, it should be able to kill with the sun up. So let's go for that, and I'm stab boosted, so boom! Knock that boy out. Thank goodness. Get out of here. Let's go. So now, hazards are here to stay. Really glad that worked out. So, I wonder what our opponent is thinking here. Now, it's gonna go to Skeletrig, which I personally don't care about this Pokemon either, because since he terrestrialized, uh, I'm gonna go into Tinglu here and just start getting up spikes and all that good stuff and just whirlwinding everything out. So he should be pretty good here. I'm gonna go out of here, get some more spikes up. I'm not gonna use my terrestrialization yet, so we're gonna get rid of this Pokemon real quick. So I'm gonna go for the Torch Song. I mean, like I said, I don't care. About a damn torch song. I have powerful earthquakes that I can deal with this Pokemon, and I have world ones, so I'm not too worried about this Pokemon at all. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start punishing our opponent for making black ass plays. Gonna go for the Wisp, as I suspected, but again, this Pokemon can just deal with this Pokemon very easily. Tangu, the monster. This is probably like a, a classic, typical um, Skillet Trige. Trige. Moveset. So, again, we're just going to get all of our spikes up first, and then we're going to roll the wing out. So we should be able to deal with this very quickly, and especially since Reflect is out of here too. So, again, we're going to go for one more layer of spikes, and then just, you know, deal some damage. So another pair of spikes up here. Now our opponent is going to be battling with spikes and stealth rocks the entire time, so pretty damn good. And then I'm just going to whirlwind this Pokemon out. I'm not too worried about this Pokemon because I do have answers to this, especially since I have a, a monster <laughs> waiting in the back. So we're going to click this whirlwind right here. You can do all this, and I don't care, bro. You can do all this, and I really don't care, so. I'm going to click this whirlwind, get this boy out of here. I think it I think it has heavy duty boots too, which is very annoying for an unaware Pokemon, but let's get this Pokemon out of here. Let's see what he goes into here. He's gonna go into the Noise. Nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now the spikes are hitting it. And the stealth rocks. Very, very good. Very, very, very good. I like how the Pokemon head is just looking at the Noivern light. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um Hmm, what to do here, what to do here. Uh, I think I should be able to live an attack from this, so I'm just going to world win this out. Don't think Boom Burst is going to kill me. Or maybe it will. It does not. Woo! Thank goodness. Very good. So we get to world win this Pokemon out. Very nice. So now we don't have to worry about it anymore. He took too much damage. Let's, let's see what it goes into. It's gonna go into the Chiu! Very nice. Exactly what I wanted. And it's heavy duty boots because it didn't show uh, damage taken from hazards. Very interesting. Very interesting. But luckily for me, I do have Pokemon that can deal with this, so I'm going to click the Whirlwind out of here. 
So we know he has two heavy duty boots Pokemon. Good for him. He's just gonna Terra Blast here, so that's Terra Blast form. Okay. Perfectly fine with me. And now, I think it's time, potentially, for Roaring Moon to win the game. But we're gonna go into our uh, Cinderace first. Let's see what he goes into here. Okay, so that's nice right there. I'm gonna look at my opponent's team real quick. He has one normal type Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna go for the U-turn here in case. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> I almost clicked the high jump kick, knowing that he might go into another Pokemon. Player. Oh boy, okay, so that's good, that's good. We're gonna get this U-turn off real quick. Let's get out of here. Then we're just gonna switch out. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into our lovely Rotom here. I could have, yeah, that was a right one. <laughs> that was definitely a right one. That would have gone south very quickly. So, hoping we don't uh, miss our hydro pumps here, because that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Just click hydro pump. Yeah, okay, draw your Pokemon. I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care. Goes into Scream Tail here. Okay. Take all those. Take all that damage, bro. Take all that damage. Kind of wish I didn't throw my. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't throw away my. Uh, Buttermain like that. But that was the correct way to do it in order to deal with their annoying ass Pokemon. So what we're gonna do here is go for the Volt Switch. Go for the light screen and that's fine with me. No more nonsense. Yes sir, with the crit. And then we're gonna go for a nice U-turn afterwards. Or I can just go into Roaring Moon and just start doing shenanigans too, but not yet. I don't think it's time yet. Honestly, I don't really think it's time yet. So we're gonna go into our Cinderace! And then we're gonna click the U-turn here. Get this boy out of here. Libero. Kinda sucks that Libero got the same nerf as Proteum, but it makes sense. Like, there's no way. There's no way you can have two of the same. <laughs> so, yes, sir, I'm gonna go. You know what, honestly, looking at my opponent's team, I'm just gonna go right into the Roaring Moon here. We do have to be very careful of the King Gambit. So yeah, the booster energy is activated. So now, what's really cool about this is uh, the booster energy stuff doesn't actually work on. Uh, it doesn't actually work against unaware. Or should unaware? It doesn't get affected by unaware. So we're gonna blow this Pokemon up. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Which is pretty interesting. That's a pretty interesting mechanic that unaware doesn't affect uh, the booster energy Pokemon. It's very interesting. Very interesting stuff. Anyways, King Gambit's in. It has to sucker punch me. But it looks like, uh, you know what? It looks like you can't do shit to me. Because one, I'm going to take this hit. And two, you already used your Terrestrialization. Which, that's why I didn't really like him going for that move. Like, for turn one, is kind of crazy to do. But again, it doesn't matter. Because now we're blowing up the rest of his team. Psych, 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 you cannot pull this stuff on me. It's gonna go into Chiwu, but you know what? I'm pretty much faster than this Pokemon. <laughs> pretty much very fast. So again, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake here, and Rory Moon is just gonna take the first victory of 2023. Yeah, get out of here. If it wasn't for the boots on Chiwu, that you would have been dead already. <laughs> but yeah. Pretty simple, and then because of rocks and spell, rocks and spikes, let's just say, this Pokemon is going down. So, there you go! GG's to my opponent. Pretty easy money, just strategic. Yep, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I understand why he would want to do that, but I don't think it's very, I don't think it was very good for him to Terrasalize turn one, because I didn't even get the chance to Terrasalize. But Cinderace had a pretty good matchup against his team. And yeah, getting all those hazards, definitely sucked for him so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this wi-fi battle congrats to those who made it 2023 hope to see you guys on the next video or live stream see ya